Hey guys, this is Esther. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Latinos Gotta Represent Friendship Hop. I am so excited to be part of this hop yet again. I have joined forces with a group of just talented crafters and they're just amazing people overall. I have kept in contact with them since our last hop, which was our first hop, which I will leave a link to in the description box below just in case you want to go back and check it out again. Or if you're new to my channel, you can definitely check it out and see the project I made for that hop. For this hop, I made another super easy project for you guys to make. If you're into journaling, this is an amazing project to do because it is one, super duper extra overdose easy, and two, it's adorbs, of course. <laughs> so anyways, before I show you my project and before I share with you guys how easy they are to make, let me tell you a little something some. Every channel is going to have a giveaway. So definitely be sure to go to every single channel, follow the rules, and if you don't know what the rules are, one, you have to be 18 or over, two, you have to be a public channel, like a visible channel, three, you have to be a subscriber, four, you have to like the videos, and five, you have to leave a comment on every video. And we do double check, so be sure to follow the rules. If you don't know how to make your channel public, I will also leave in the description box below a link of a video showing you how to make your channel public so you have no excuses. My giveaway for my channel is going to be a $20 PayPal deposit to your account. So meaning that this giveaway on my channel is open international because I can deposit those $20 anywhere in the world as long as you have PayPal. So good luck to everybody who participates don't forget to check out my friends because they're amazing and if you don't know who they are the link to all the channels that are participating is in the description box below so check it out check it out y'all okay let's get into what i made so as you guys know i uber love journaling like i love expressing myself and you know just writing it all down and i also have it as something that i would love to leave my girls with i have two girls and I have four boys. I know I have a lot of kids, but you know, I feel like my boys won't really care, but my girls, I feel like they'll keep everything. So I do have a lot of journals that I want to leave them, you know, when I leave this earth. <laughs> so here is a tiny, tiny little journal um, made out of envelopes. I know it's so cute. Ta -da! So this is my envelope journal. It is adorbs and it's super easy guys. When I show you how I made this, y'all aren't even going to believe it. I used this paper that I got as a gift from Amador who is also in this hop. And this is a Tilda paper I believe. I don't know which um, collection this is, but it is a Tilda paper. I've used some washi and then I have some Reset Girl stickers. And then I added a little crocheted flower that I got from Ruth. Look at how cute. And I'm really sorry about the sun, guys. It's My blinds are broken, so I can't fix them. So that's what the front looks like. Then you open the journal, and this is the paper that I put in there. And you're going to have this page to decorate. My envelope, I left the flap on so I can open it. And when I open it, I can put stickers. I can put little goodies inside. But you can also put a picture that's going to come up out here. How adorbs is that? That is using this type of envelope, which I will show you which envelope this is. If you use another type of envelope, you can definitely do this too if you cut like a box or a window and then add like little um like your acetate paper you could do that it is a little more time consuming or you can just get these envelopes which are readily available at Target. so once you get that i added paper and i actually sewed my paper i don't know if you can see the stitching in there let me zoom in a little so that you can see it as you can see i have stitched it here and that is what's keeping my the binding to um, my journal okay so then we keep flipping and I have a total of six pages which gives me 12 pages that are double-sided so that's 24 pages that I get to journal in I have added some little um, lace flowers more of the recent girl um, stickers and then this one's also from the recent girl and I think these are so cute I wanted to give it like a little retro feeling and I really really like how it turned out and then once we flip through all the pages this is the back page and it looked 
so pretty those flowers I decided I didn't want to do anything so I added of course stickles because if you know me you know that I love stickles and then because it is an envelope it does have this pocket here that you can put more stickers in or whatever it is you want then you close your book and this is the back side of the journal, but that's not it, y'all, because when you get to the back side, um, here I've added more um, lays and layered some paper, more of the Reset Girl stickers, and her, she's also from the Reset Girl, I believe. And these are planner stickers from Carpe Diem, and I've added some lace flowers that I, you know, fussy cut out of lace, and I've done that, and then, da 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 the fun part is you open it and you have another journal. Ta-da, I know, <laughs> super cute. And this back page is also a pocket and when you put your whatever inside, it's gonna be your picture or your display or whatever it is you wanna put to be seen here. Then you have another 24 sheets of paper and another little pocket right here that you could put a picture or you could put stickers or you could put anything you want in there. This is what it looks like. I have this little wooden piece that I also got from Ruth and more of the Reset Girl stickers. This one's also from the Reset Girl and more of those little um, lace flowers. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my little journal. How adorbs is this journal? Now, let me share with you guys how easy it is to make this. So these are the envelopes that I used and these are from, like I said, Target and I can't remember if they were a dollar or three dollars for the pack. So you're gonna need three envelopes for this. And in one of them guys, I did cut a tiny little sliver off. So this, the first one that I leave the flap on is gonna be my front cover. Then I'm gonna take the next one and I'm gonna put it at the end here and I'm gonna glue it down or you can tape it down. Y'all know how I feel about tape, so I'm not even gonna go there. I'm gonna go ahead and use my wet glue. Now for this one, I did cut a little sliver off because I want this little pocket exposed so that you can see my picture, but if you're gonna use regular envelopes that don't have that, you can definitely just use, um, you can definitely leave it long and glue the whole thing down. It'll work the same. But because mine has that little window, I want you to be able to see it. So I did cut a little sliver off, as you saw, just so that I can uh, leave it open. So let me glue it down. And there is your first one. Of course, you have to let it dry good. But for the sake of this video, I haven't. So then I'm going to take my third envelope and I'm going to make sure that my the crease on my flap is good. My flap is going to go in front of the middle envelope. I'm going to add my glue. I'm going to take my middle envelope and I'm going to put my flap in front of the middle envelope. And there we have like a little zigzag envelope. So remember you take your first envelope and you put the flap of the middle envelope behind it. Then you're gonna get your third envelope and you're gonna put the flap of your third envelope in front of your middle envelope. I know it sounds a little confusing, but it's really easy. So now all you do is you cut your paper down to size, whatever kind of paper you're gonna wanna use. So this is just a scrap piece of paper. Obviously it's not cut, cut to size or anything like that, but I just wanna show, show it to you guys for um, to give you guys a visual idea of how I did it. So then I took this, I measured the paper that I wanted, and I stacked them all together, and then I went and I put it down. I took some paper clips, I clipped it on both sides, and then I just ran it through my sewing machine, and then everything was stuck together. Then I flipped it over and did the same thing on this side. That way I have two, um, two sets of journals to write in. Remember to sew your sheets on first. That way you know how much bulk you have. I only used uh, six sheets, but you can use as many as you want or as many as you think you can run through your sewing machine so that it doesn't get you know, ruined or anything like that. So yeah, your little journal could be even chunkier, but remember that once you fill it out and if you're a sticker adder like me, which I love stickers, it's gonna plump up even more. So 
yeah, definitely think about that before adding too many sheets of paper. If you don't have a sewing machine, um, but you have the long staple, you can definitely do it with staples too. I know that somebody um, had told me that they hand stitch theirs, which is also a great idea. Anyways, guys, that's it for my project. Don't forget to check out everybody for your chance to win lots of goodies and prizes and money, of course. I hope that you guys like this video, and if you haven't yet, subscribe and join our tiny family. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Thank you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!